Some may be initially surprised and honestly a bit concerned whenever they first learn that there are a number of stories in the Old and New Testaments that share some similarities to what is found in other writings by individuals in other cultures, in different languages, and from different time periods. And whenever they learn of this, they may have some questions in their mind. They may wonder, well, is the Bible simply just a series of copies or an amalgamation of these different texts? And if that is the case, why do we hold to the Bible being authoritative? Why do we view it as a source of history to the rejection of these other works? I think these are questions that we should consider, but these are things that we can't just answer, say, in five minutes. And so with these things in mind, I want to explore a particular work that people may know of in comparison to the Bible, that being the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is also known as the Gilgamesh Cycle. And this is a series of poems that have been written in various languages and different cultures. And they have different things that share some similarities to what is found in the Bible. Specifically, there is an account of a flood in the Epic of Gilgamesh that has some particular similarities to what is found in the Bible, specifically Genesis chapters 6 through 9. And people may read the Epic of Gilgamesh and look at that and compare it with the Bible and say how similar they are. And I may note that both accounts have a boat. Both of them have animals that are placed into this particular vessel. How there is a family that is saved in this boat. That they both speak of a flood. That there are birds that are released after the flood. That there are sacrifices made to God or different deities. And finally, that there is a remembrance that is spoken of after the flood as well. And they may look at these things and just look at it superficially and think, wow, the similarities are incredible. But I've noticed that whenever you actually look at the Epic of Gilgamesh and look at the Bible, the similarities are not so apparent. They actually may be rather distinct and different instead. And I want to explore those different things. But also look at the individuals and the beings mentioned in the Epic of Gilgamesh and see, are these individuals that we should have respect for? Are they beings that we should hold to have honor for? And should we think of them as individuals or beings that we can learn from in the sense of being righteous, being pleasing to God, and so on? And then we can compare them with what is found in the Bible. I think that this may be a profitable study, something that we can consider and we can learn from together. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.